guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I have a collective makeup haul for you guys. Now, I think I've addressed this in like one or two like chit chat get ready with me videos, but for the longest time I was in the biggest filming rut and I honestly don't know why. Like I would film videos, like I would genuinely film videos, but I would have no motivation to either edit them and even if they did get edited, I wouldn't want to upload or put them as live i don't know why like i was still putting up videos onto my youtube channel but it definitely wasn't as frequent as what i'm used to before my little rut i used to upload like once or twice a week but i am back for good i hope oh my goodness i decided to do a few little changes so i have moved to a different filming space i'm actually in my bedroom now opposed to my makeup room my makeup room is actually the room right behind this wall yeah i like this room so much better it just gives me better like i don't know like the lighting's better i have more time to film because the this room is in a better position i honestly don't know why i just didn't start filming in here i don't know completely different topic anyway i was in a massive filming rut i will admit that and i'm so sorry and i honestly didn't even want to like do super talky videos or like haul videos and even the haul videos that i did film back then i didn't even edit or upload them why i don't know like i think i uploaded like a ColourPop one and my imax one and those were the last two that i did but before that there was a giant patch without hauls and if you know me you know that i did not go that long without buying makeup so i've decided to rumble through the things that i've bought as of lately that I haven't really shown you guys or at least I don't think I have and show you them today I'm sure that there'll be a few more hauls just to catch you guys up on what I've recently bought so yeah if you'd like to see some of the things that I've recently bought then just keep watching and that was the longest intro that I've ever done I promise you if you are new I never ramble that much so I'm not going to mention anything in any particular order. I just have a box back there and some things in my lap. So I'm just going to basically tell you guys as I pick them up. So the first thing is the Urban Decay Foundation Powder. This one is in the shade Light Neutral and it's the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. It looks like this on the inside and I haven't even used it yet. But I'm so excited too. And the sponge is so soft. From Sephora, I did get the Zoeva Cocoa Blends palette. I did get a few more Zoeva palettes, so they're probably in that box. But that's what this palette looks like here. It's gorgeous. If you guys would like to see a review video on it or a swatch video or a tutorial, anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. I also got the Too Faced Bonbons palette. Now, I do have this palette on my eyes today as well as one ColourPop eyeshadow, and it's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. I like the colors in it a lot. Um, the ones that I don't think are as wearable are like the bright magenta and stuff like that. But overall, it's a gorgeous palette. And I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of it. And how cute is it? It's just little love hearts as the pans. Oh. From Illamasqua, I did get a loose powder. I've been really into baking recently. So I decided to give the one from Illamasqua a try because I want to be really, really, really matte. So this is the powder here. It is the Illamasqua Loose Powder. And you've got like a massive powder puff in here as well. This I got off Adore Beauty because I couldn't find it in Sephora. Um, this one is the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator Powder in the shade Indiscretion. And it's just one of these. These have been going around Instagram like crazy. So I thought that I'll pick up this one. This was the only shade that I saw. But I really want to get other shades if they're available. Because I saw a gold one, I think. And I really want that one. How cute is this bronzer? I am wearing it today. And it is the Too Faced... What's it called? Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea. That's what the shades look like. I just used a mixture of both of them. And then I applied them to my face. But this is what they look like. I'll just swatch them on the back of my hand. They're not super pigmented, but they do add a perfect amount of glow, at least for my skin tone. And I don't have much fake tan on. I just have like the last remnants of a fake tan. So yeah, that needs to be scrubbed off today. So if you see my gross fake tan, just please ignore it. <laughs> These I got off Tarte's website. I've been hearing so many good things about these. So these are the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. I bought three because I was like, you know what? If I don't buy them now, they're going to sell out. And what happened after I placed my order and went back to look, they sold out. So I'm glad that I bought them. Um, I bought Light Medium Honey, which is this one. I bought Fair Neutral. And then I also bought Light Neutral. I do want to get some more. So hopefully when they're back in stock, I can get some darker shades. Because even the Light Medium is quite dark. No, quite light. Sorry, quite light. 
Sorry about that guys, my camera battery cut out. But anyway, if you guys have been watching me since the start of my YouTube channel, then you'll remember the Illamasqua Brow Cakes. I was obsessed with them. It was the only thing that I used and still to this day, I do highly recommend them. They're a great brow powder. But I used to mix two shades, Motto and Thunder, or at least I do still own those. I just don't use them as much anymore. But I just wanted one shade that I could kind of just use and call it a day. It's easy for travel and stuff like that. Anyway, so I popped by the Illamasqua stand and this shade is sold out quite often. I don't go to the Illamasqua stand all the time, but I will go every time that I'm in Maya just to see if this shade's in stock. And finally, the shade is in stock, like three years later. Anyway, so this is the shade of it here. I think it might be just a tiny bit too dark in my eyebrows, but that's okay. I'll just use a light hand. It's the shade Gaze. So I'm very, very excited. I do recommend that you use like a brush. Apparently this has like a high wax complex, which makes it adhere to the skin really, really well. I don't know. I like it. It's really, really good as a brow powder. If you're in the market for a brow powder, this is a good one. I don't know about this shade exactly because I haven't used it yet, but I do know the Illamasqua brow cakes are really, really gorgeous. From It Cosmetics, I did pick up the Bye Bye Pores press powder. I don't know who I watch on YouTube that uses this, but they use it consistently. Is it the... I don't know her name, but she looks gorgeous and she uses it in almost all her videos. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick it up as well. Also from It Cosmetics, I got the Hello Light Illuminating Powder. It looks like this, so it's more of a pink toned highlight. I will swatch it for you guys. So that is it there. It's actually really, really, really pretty. Also from It Cosmetics, I bought the Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector. I got it in the shade Light. I actually asked for the shade Medium and I didn't realize that I got the wrong shade until I put it on my face. So I was like, oh, okay. But I've been using it and it's all right. I think that if I bought the Medium one, like if I got the Medium one, it would have been more effective, but that's fine. I probably wouldn't get it again though. So from Mecca, I did get the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. I did actually hit pan, if you guys don't know, this is like one of my holy grail palettes and I actually hit pan on my favorite shade in it, which is called Nudie. So I decided to get another one. So yeah, I got another one. From Bobbi Brown, I did get the Nude Finish Illuminating Powder in the shade Nude. If I can open it, it looks like this. So it's just like a nude brick that you could use to like finish your makeup and stuff like that. I haven't really tried anything like this before, but I'm hoping it's similar to like the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders and stuff like that. I honestly just straightened my hair like not even two hours ago and it's already back to being a frizz ball. If you guys have any suggestions on how to keep your hair straight, then please let me know. I also got two Stila liquid lipsticks. Fran actually gave me a gift card for my birthday for Mecca. So I did get these two. I got Patina and I also got Caramello, which are these two here. I also got two liquid lipsticks from Kat Von D. So I got the Lolita 2 as well as Bow and Arrow. I'm so excited for these two. Maybe I should show you what they look like, should I? So this one's Bow and Arrow. It's more of like a chocolate color. I think I really want to use it use that in a tutorial one day and then i also got lolita 2 which i mentioned before but i'll show you guys what it looks like it is the shade right here from becca i did pick up the ultimate coverage complexion cream in the shade buff i feel like i might have gotten the shade a little bit too light but that's okay i am sure that i'll be this state this shade at some stage and i'm really really excited for this foundation because i've heard that it is full coverage I also got the resurfacing primer from Becca. I just wanted to try this and it said that it was mattifying. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. Also from Becca, I did get the shimmering skin perfecter in the shade Pearl just because I wanted to have like a super, super intense bit of highlight. So that is it there. Like it's literally just a white highlight, but I'm so excited for it. This was actually a graduation present to myself. This is from Guerlain. And I didn't actually get to use it on graduation, which makes me so sad. But I did get it on sale, which is good. Um, this is the Guerlain. I don't really know how to say it, but it's a six pan eyeshadow um, in the shade 10. But oh my goodness, just have a look at that. If it's not the most beautiful thing ever, I don't know what is. Like the packaging is just so luxurious. I can't even deal. Like it's just so gorgeous, so sleek and so sophisticated. And I'm so glad because like, I swear to you guys, when I was in first year and me and my friends used to walk around like Maya, just looking at all the expensive makeup that we wish we owned, but we couldn't afford. 
I would always, every single time, I would go to the Guerlain stand, I was going to say stand, um, Guerlain stand, and I would swatch this eyeshadow palette, and I said, when I get a full-time job and I've graduated uni, I'm going to buy that eyeshadow palette. I got a full-time job before I finished uni, but I did make it a goal to myself to finish uni before I bought that palette. Now I'm finished and I have the palette. I'm so happy. Also from Guerlain, I did buy a single eyeshadow because I saw it on sale and I really wanted like a charcoal eyeshadow. So I was like, you know what? I may as well buy one from Guerlain. It's got beautiful packaging. Not as beautiful as the expensive one, but this one's still really, really gorgeous. It's just a charcoal gray shade and that is called 09 Flash Back. No, Flash Black. There we go. But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous and... It's just gorgeous. I bought the Kat Von D tattoo liner. I am wearing it today. My eyeliner is a bit manky, but it looks good when I'm looking straight, at least to me. So I'm not going to fix it up. From Tarte, I did buy their vitamin C Maracuja brightener cream thing. Um, I finished my eye cream one day and I was like, you know what? I need an eye cream. So I picked up this one from Sephora and I do quite like it. It's a good daytime eye cream. I wouldn't say it's heavy enough for me for nighttime, but for daytime, it is really, really beautiful. I did pick up the Clarins Everlasting Foundation Plus. This one is a reformulation and relaunch from Clarins. They used to just have the standard Everlasting Foundation, which I love. I'll link the review of that down below if you guys are curious, but they since reformulated and relaunched it. They did also come out with a few new shades. I just bought my standard shade, which is 110 Honey, so hopefully it is as good, if not better, than the original. I did pick up the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is the SPF 50 Plus CC Cream. It's just a standard one. I do already own the Illuminating one, so I decided to give the standard one a try, and hopefully it's good. This one I bought in the shade Medium, and I always love having a high SPF product in my collection. Lucky last things, I did buy two eyeshadow palettes from Mecca. So the first one being the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. It looks like this. I honestly don't even know why I bought it. I think I just fell into the hype of wanting to complete the collection, so I just bought it. Haven't even used it yet, and I've owned it for so long. If you guys would like to see a tutorial on it, then let me know. Maybe I'll do like a dark, smoky something. <laughs> and then I also picked up a palette from Stila. I own one of these palettes already, I think in the shade Spirit, like the thing Spirit, but I, this one I bought in the shade Soul. So this is what it looks like on the inside. If I take off that plastic sleeve, that's what the shades look like. They're absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful. So that's the end of my collective haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought or if you'd like to see any of these products in future videos or in any future reviews or anything like that. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to subscribe and press that little bell icon to be alerted of every time that I upload a new video. And yeah. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.